Item number SCP-3361 Object Class Cutter Special containment Procedures Sightings of SCP-3361 are to be intercepted by the Nervous Foundation agents who are to interview those who have interacted with the entity and administer Class B amnestics as deemed necessary. Follow-up teams are to be sent under a cover-up story of public health investigation in order to increase the overall cleanliness of the area and prevent manifestations of SCP-3361 temporarily. Research into means of more permanent containment is ongoing. Description SCP-3361 refers to a sapient image drawn in black ink of a stylized young human male that appears in bathrooms. SCP-3361 is bound to traveling along two three surfaces but is capable of altering its shape, communicating verbally, and perceiving its surroundings normally. SCP-3361 has not been observed entering nor leaving any bathrooms, but it can be found in multiple locations simultaneously. SCP-3361 appears to maintain a single consciousness across its manifestations, and seems to be aware of each separate area it is located in. SCP-3361 seems to favor manifesting inside bathrooms with only one occupant, but has been known to speak with groups as well. The entity displays a most friendly personality and fondness for extended and intimate conversation, though it does not seem to understand or care about the privacy required within bathrooms. Should SCP-3361 be ignored or verbally attacked, it will usually demanifest, but may manifest again at any given time. The only effective method of protecting a location from SCP-3361 is to keep it free from graffiti and similar markings, which has proven successful in 83% of cases. SCP-3361's primary anomaly consists of being able to acquire large quantities of accurate information from human subjects through short periods of conversation. Such information is not always directly related to what is being discussed and may consist of facts from the subject that they are not aware of themselves. SCP-3361 will often use such information to form a psychological profile of a given subject and attempt to offer them therapy and advice on various subjects. SCP-3361 refuses to reveal private information about people who have confided in it. However, the entity has been known to use the psychological profiles it forms to persuade others into behaving in ways it deems more appropriate. What this means varies between individuals, but follows a pattern of instilling a deep sense of inaccuracy paranoia, and disillusionment. No mind-affecting anomaly has been identified in those who have interacted with SCP-3361. Addendum Interview Log Interviewed SCP-3361 Interviewer Agent Beep Forward This interview takes place upon initial discovery of SCP-3361 by Agent Beep. The initial phrases before the actual recording are transcribed according to Agent Beep's report. Begin log. Hello, my esteemed gentlemen. I trust you are in good health. What a frick? Hey, no, I'm not that scary. At least I hope you should notice that. You seem to me like a person with an iron will and good taste. I'm taking a crap, you goddamn creep. Uh, being ashamed of your bodily functions is a step away being ashamed of yourself. No, it's not. Where do you get that? Actually, hold on. I need to record this. As to yourself, say you go to Redacted University. How do you even know that? It's written all over your face. Just like the fact you dropped out of it. Shame, Millie. You always did have more potential than you believed. Don't patronize me! I know my life better than you! If you say so, my friend. Oh, how rude of me! Name's Classy Carlos. It is an uncomfortable pleasure to meet you, Beep. Is that some sort of nickname? Who calls you that? And how do you know my name? 
My friends and patients call me that, and your name just flung around, you know. I see. Do you interact with other people outside of this bathroom? Yes, I have accumulated quite a list over the years. Lots of stories to tell, too. But no details, of course. I got a code of ethics to uphold. What sort of conversations do you usually have with people? Long and productive ones. Yes, sir. People like open books to me. It's just a matter of time. Why don't you tell me more about yourself? That's not how this works. Oh, never mind. Will you cooperate with my questions if I answer yours? On my honor. All right. I guess I'm kind of an introvert. I figured as much. What's the earliest memory you can recall? Hmm, climbing an apple tree on my own, I think, or trying to. Got hurt pretty badly. My parents were very worried. Interesting, interesting. First time you fell in love? This is getting a little personal, and I'm not getting much information from you as I should. Oh, what is the matter? Does exposing yourself make you feel uncomfortable? Do you have difficulty trusting others? I'm fine, thank you very much. Now it's my turn to ask a question. How do you keep finding out all of this about me? It all comes to me naturally. I just don't understand how others don't notice the things I do. They're so clear to me. Like the fact you just fell in love when Sally taught you how to be more open. I have a feeling you rejected her advice out of spite and you two broke up. That must have contributed a lot of your current psychological state. My heart goes out to you. Are you trying to give me therapy? If so, it's not working at all. Apologies, I should have considered my words more carefully. Yes, you're a little invasive, don't you think? Yes, you're a little invasive, don't you think? It's all for people's betterment. It can take more than one try, certainly, but sometimes you get such happy coincidences. Why, I spoke to Sally last month. Wait, what? What did she tell you? What did you tell her? Go to ethics, my friend. No details allowed. <sighs> All right. So, you can find an opportunity amount of information about me apparently at will, but you can't actually use any of that to help me. Why don't you do me a favor and let me conclude the interview? Well, if you insist. But before you do that, consider the following. Perhaps the reason you still want to know about what she is up to after all these years is because you can't seem to value yourself as a person and need external validation to feel any joy. Has it occurred to you that the longer you spend thinking about that, the smaller you will become? You will get tiny. Tiny, until you will disappear from everyone's sight. It wouldn't that be just a tragedy? But you won't be the bigger man, because you're completely tangled in chains of your self-pity. Are you freaking with me right now? Heavens no, I'm testing for life signs. Listen, and listen carefully. I don't care about your good intentions. Leave my secrets to me to deal with. Got it? I can take care of myself. Oh, yes, but can you take care of others to get at a proof for you so desperately want? I'm certain that your son must be very grateful that his daddy is out there fighting the monsters every day that he can never know about. Instead of watching him play, learn, and grow up, it seems to me you have somewhat skewed priorities. What do you want me to do? To say that I'm a coward is shut in, that I have trust issues, that I'm a neglectant father. Oh, that's true. Then feel free to call me a horrible person. None of that. I want you to prove me wrong. SCP-3361 demanifests. End all.